Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video we're going to be doing a, a weekly vlog because we love one of those. I'm on shift week this week which gives me the opportunity to vlog throughout my week because during a normal working week when I'm not on shifts, 9 till 5ish, I don't have that leeway to be able to vlog for my week because I will literally just be coming home and relaxing so that's very boring. Um, but at least when I'm on shifts I've got three days on work and four days off and usually when I have those four days off I plan things to do like I have done so this week and I've got something planned for me and my mum today which is going to be very exciting a mother and daughter day and I'm going to take you guys along with me but this morning has been super productive we have gone food shopping we've edited the YouTube video that I filmed yesterday only eating pink foods for a day because I'm not going to have really that much time to be able to edit on Monday because I'm working Monday Saturday and Sunday this week which means I've got Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday off but I I obviously upload on Tuesday so I'm not going to be able to edit before then so this morning was a great time to do so and I've done so already then I meal prepped my um, meals for tomorrow which I'm going to share with you guys as I'm working tomorrow and then I got myself ready for today and that's pretty much it so I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I have received during this working week um, in terms of my PR packages because I know you, a lot of you guys are really interested in what I receive and stuff like that so I'm happy to share it with you guys and also I'm going to be doing an unboxing for a particular company and I've used it in my meal prep this week which is super exciting. So just to fill you guys in, on a weekly basis I tend to receive many parcels from different brands on a gifting basis. Um, some are not gifting basises and and there'll be like paid collaborations but on those terms I would usually state that to you guys and so it can be like obvious that it is a paid ad instead of just a gifting because there's a difference between the two. Now there is a paid ad within this video which I'm going to be sharing with you guys pretty soon um, but the rest of the pieces have just been gifted or I am a My Protein ambassador so I always usually received products from them um, throughout the year anyways. So these are the range of brands that I have here and I'm going to run you guys through starting from this end here. So on a monthly basis, Koro kindly give me a £100 voucher to spend on their website on all their little goodies to share with you guys. And in this order, I got these coffees, which one is already currently over there in my coffee machine in the vanilla flavour. And then we've got the, oh no, sorry, the chocolate flavour over there, but we've got the vanilla flavour over here. Then I've got six packs of tofu, which is going to stock me up well. Then they really helpfully do these like bio seitan so instead of making my seitan recipe if you haven't got the time these are a great source of protein as well then i've got these soy chunks which i usually get from holland barrett but koro do and they're just as great um, and then i also got these medjool dates within the order as well um, then over here the skinny food company although i don't like the name please don't get me wrong i hate the name of it <laughs> They kindly send me things every month, which I love all their jams and syrups, but like I say, the name, it has a bad rep in my books. <laughs> but the best one that I find is the best is this strawberry jam. It's so delicious, sweet, and everything that you need in a jam, and the content of it is very low calorie, and so hence that's why they call it skinny. Then throughout this week I also received this parcel from Stojo which they do collapsible, reusable water bottles and coffee mugs which are super cute because they collapse and they're just easy to take away and it's perfect to be on the go. Then I also received this parcel from Ox. it's um, the Aquafaba chickpea juice essentially and I used it within my pink video and the fluff actually turned out well so I actually recommend this, I have used it. Then I received this parcel from Shop Cocoa Banner. Now I have a discount code from them and it's Layla15. They do really cute coconut bowls but recently they do coconut candles as well and as you can see I've literally used this to death because the scent of it and the aesthetic aesthetic of it is really amazing and I love it but the code for my discount code is Layla15 if you want to buy some coconut bowls or coconut candles help yourself 
Then I received these chocolates from Fellow Creatures, which I've raved about these in my pink video because they kindly sent them out to me as I let them know that I was filming this pink video. And that was super kind of them because their chocolates are amazing. Then I also received this lovely, lovely parcel, guys, from this company, independent company, actually, called Moody Ceramics. It's owned by a girl who does these ceramic mugs, spoons, plates, and bowls, and they're absolutely stunning. Can we just take a look at that and appreciate the work of art that is? Like, I really would recommend you guys checking her out, and I will leave her link in the description box down below because I think her ceramics are absolutely stunning. Look at the attention to detail in that. Honestly, amazing. Um, but her stock really runs out quickly, so you have to be on it when she says she has stock. Um, I will definitely be purchasing purchasing nearly her whole collection when the next stock comes out because I feel like her pieces are absolutely stunning not to own. <laughs> Then over here we've got some My Protein goodies. They sent me out their Acid Wash Blue collection, which I already have it in the grey and black, and I really love this collection in particular because it's very flattering and I do love it. And they also sent me some shorts to go with that and a white sweatshirt. I don't really tend to wear shorts like these in the gym, but these are really nice, I find, to lounge in or just to relax in. So that's really nice of them. And then they also sent me these new nuts, which I'm going to be trying them out this week. Um, when I go for work. I do love nuts, um, but I don't really tend to snack on them because I just prefer sweeter stuff. But for a good savoury option, and I do like barbecue, these are very handy on the go snacks. So I'll be trying those this week and I'll let you guys how I find them. Then over here we have this like facial cleanser by Vanity Planet and guys I'm actually going to say a massive thank you to you all and I'm going to give this away because I already have one and I feel like they sent me a duplicate one so why not give it away to one of you guys so all you have to do literally is just Comment down below, giveaway, and I'll pick a giveaway winner next week. And also, you have to be subscribed to my channel, and I will be checking. <laughs> and then, finally, but not least, we have the paid collaboration of this video. Thank you so much to Meatless Farm for collaborating with me. I'm just going to do a little unboxing for you guys, because I think they're meat substitutes are absolutely amazing and I actually use these sausages in my meal prep and I'm going to be posting about them in a recipe as well because they also do burgers here and mints. They're honestly changing the game of veganism. Look how realistic these look. Like why is there another reason to eat meat guys? They are absolutely incredible. The taste, the texture of them are amazing and they also gave me this little cutting board here to get creative with which I absolutely love. So thanks so much guys. So as I said I was going to be sharing with you guys what I'm taking to work tomorrow and starting off with this meal prep here where I use the Meatless Farm sausages. I also packed in with some avocado slices here, some chickpea waffles, some shiitake garlic mushrooms with some coriander on the side there as well which I can just take with me and heat up in the microwave at work for my lunch. But throughout the working day I'm on a 12 hour shift so I tend to bring a load of snacks with me just to nibble on when I have the time to do so. I've got this Builders Cliff Bar in the original flavour but it's a really chunky bar and I do just love that to satisfy my hunger throughout the day. Then then I've got these like raspberry bisque balls which I made in my pink video if you want to go check those out and it's just a nice handy snack to munch along with. Then as I said I brought this nuts mix with me as well and then I've also got this little yogurt pot which I literally just put in some unsweetened soy yogurt with a strawberry flavour drop and some raspberries on top. Then I've got some party rings here because I do love those and they make me very happy during the day and then I've got a chia pudding here and then finally but not least this is actually actually my breakfast that I prepped for tomorrow because um, I won't have time um, as such to create this and I just fancied it. What it is essentially is a fig and custard tart but I needed to prep it the day before because I needed the custard to sh to set and I will be posting this recipe on my Instagram already. If it has been uploaded already before this video I'll insert it here. If not look forward to seeing it because I had a smell of it and it smells absolutely incredible. I can't wait to be sharing with you guys all the four recipes in my mind because I have a world of imagination of four recipes coming your way. 
that literally in the morning all I would do is pop that in the oven I'm going to sprinkle on some sweetener to to allow the figs to like crispen and saute and then I'm literally just going to be having that with a coffee which I'll probably share with you guys tomorrow morning as well before work so I feel like I just waffled on for quite a long time there and I really hope you haven't been bored of my talking so far but I feel like I needed to update you guys on a few little bits and bobs so that's what I just did there but the plan of action today um, I'm going to be heading to this place called Linian Living. They kindly offered me and my mother for this spa treatment in their cute little cafe because what it is essentially is this cute little brunch spot as well as a spa which is super unique and incredible in my eyes but I've never been there before so it's going to be super exciting to review it with you guys. Um, they are a all vegan cafe where they do loads of little cakes and brunch food which is definitely in my element as you know and they kindly offered us a nail treatment even though I don't have nails I'm gonna be getting a manicure which is super cute um, and I'll let you guys know how we get on but I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm wearing for today it's a bit jazzy I bought some new jeans this week as well so I'm just wearing this top which is from Pretty Little Thing and then I bought these jeans in the petite section which finally I have found jeans that fit my waist like I am a waist 23 and for all my petite gals out there you know the struggle of finding jeans in the women's section not the kids section that actually fits our waist and it just gets a bit frustrating if you know what I mean so I'm really happy I found these in the Pretty Little Thing petite section um, and they're just these like wide fit jeans and I really dig them so they're really cute and then I'm wearing my platform converses which I think suits it quite well this top as well and this lovely cute little pearl headband <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to be heading into the kitchen now to meet my mum because we are going to be heading off soon to Alinean Living, like I said. I'm going to be sharing with you guys what we're eating there, what we're doing and the aesthetic of it all really, which is going to be super exciting because I do love finding cute little London spots to share with you guys as well. So, without further ado, I will see you in the cafe. <laughs> So we've arrived at Linny and Living now, we've ordered our food, we've ordered some nice drinks as well and we're going to show you guys what we got. It's very gorgeous in here isn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous, lovely. It looks wonderful. So bright. <laughs> okay guys, so the food has arrived and how incredible does it look? So my mum went for this bean burger and it comes with sweet potato fries. Then we both got this chocolate cake to share together along with the matcha pancakes and then we've got a kombucha each. I've got the raspberry one and my mum's got the passion fruit one and then I got myself this tempeh bagel avocado sandwich which looks absolutely amazing. Um, but we're going to share it all because we've got some sharing plates but of course we're going to take some Instagram photos first. So as you can see the Instagram photos have been taken. Thank you very much mum. <laughs> Uh, now we're gonna dig in, aren't we? Enjoy! <laughs>
was that, Mum? So delicious, enjoyable. <laughs> we loved it. So we finished up our meal now, and we're just about to head upstairs to the salon to get our nails done. <laughs> Beautiful, yeah. The lady was amazing and she was so lovely. Now we're going to go into Waitrose. We had a lovely meal at the yeah. Linnean Living and I really recommend you guys heading down there. And it, the aesthetic of it all, you know me, I love my aesthetic places and this one definitely touched on that. Mm. <laughs> but we couldn't help but go into Waitrose because it's right next to it and we love Waitrose. Fine. <laughs> yeah. So we are back home now and I changed into my comfies and just for this evening I'm just going to be relaxing on my desk and having a bit of a editing session but don't you just love that feeling of when you've been on a long day out just changing into some comfy clothing and just like sitting down for the rest of the evening that is definitely something I love to do even though I love my health and fitness game I do love a little relaxing session as well. <laughs> So when I tend to edit my YouTube videos, I tend to dim my lights and put on my like sparkly fairy lights alongside my wall here and light a candle also just to set the mood and it really really relaxes me. I love editing my videos and I also watch some YouTube videos on my little mini iPad whilst doing so as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing for this evening. And I also laid out my work uniform for tomorrow which I'll just pack in my bag in the morning so that I can get dressed at work tomorrow and carry on with the rest of my day. And then as you would have seen earlier this morning, I made my meal prep for me to pack tomorrow as well. So I'm essentially all ready and packed for tomorrow to go to work. But as I said this evening, I'm just gonna have a little editing session. I'm going to edit this part of the vlog um, as I tend to like just edit the footage as soon as possible so it doesn't accumulate over the weeks or days um, and then that way I'm able to stay on top of my two uploads a week whilst having full-time work. Um, the editing software that I use for those that ask is Final Cut Pro and now that I have my Mac I like to edit on there so that's what I'm going to do for this evening and I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow if I need to update you. <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome to Tuesday. So as you would have seen yesterday I went to work so I didn't really have time to speak to you guys on this vlog but it was a super busy day at work yesterday so I was literally exhausted by the time I got home and I just went straight to bed after my shower. But today, as you can see, I'm in purple because we are filming the only eating purple foods for a day for my YouTube channel, which should be up before this upload. So go check that out if you haven't done so already because I'm having so much fun so far. But this morning I um, started to edit that piece of um, 
footage. Then I was just watching some YouTube videos, obviously I had my breakfast, I've had my pre-workout snack by now, and now I'm headed to the gym. So that's what I'm going to be getting up to right now, but I just thought I'd share with you guys what I'm doing in terms of my training whilst I'm on this week. So I think I addressed previously in this vlog or in a separate vlog where I say, where I usually say that when I'm on shifts I do four full body workouts um, per week rather than five body day splits and um, it just means that I don't need to work out on the days that I'm going to do my 12 hour shift because I'm already quite tired and my body is quite fatigued when I do come home from this 12 hour shift so I don't want to stress it out more than it should really so I've also mentioned previously that I use this app called Trainerize and this is the workouts that I'll be doing today. So it will be a full body workout and it will give me all these sets of exercises and you have to be invited onto an app by a trainer. My trainer is my boyfriend, luckily enough, and he does my workouts and monitors my weight progression and this is an ab portion of it as well. So it's a really handy app to use when you have something like this because you can track your weights and just see your progression really. So the other plan of action today is actually to head to Westfield, sorry about the rustling, I'm trying to get these vouchers out, because Little Moons has given me these vouchers to use at their pop-up store in Westfields, um, and if you don't know what they are, they're like moshi ice creams, and I heard that they do like a purple moshi, which is going to feature in the video, and I'm super excited because I've never tried moshi ice cream before, so... That's going to be fun and I'm going to take you guys along with me. I also need to get a gift for my best friend um, who it is her birthday this week and unfortunately because I messed up my rota at work this week I'm unable to attend her birthday on Sunday, the one that she's hosting with everyone else, um, but I decided to take her out for a meal and a yoga session on Friday, so that's what we're going to do together, and I really want to buy her a gift, so that's what I'm going to do and take you guys along with as well. So I'll probably catch you as soon as. So it's been a few hours now since I last left you guys, but we're currently in the Westfield car park because I'm going to go into Westfields to buy a few things and film for the rest of the purple food challenge because I'm going to be getting the purple moshi. Um, my family are in the background there, my sister and her baby are wearing purple as well as me. So we managed to go to Little Moons and I picked up these purple moshis for my purple challenge. And so now we're headed to Lush because I need to get a purple bath bomb for tonight and for my friend Lola. Hi guys, so I'm just updating the vlog here. I'm back from Westfields now and I've got my purple dinner in front of me which I filmed for my purple video. But I just thought I would share with you guys my YouTube recommendations which I'm going to be watching this evening and throughout the week. Um, just because I know you guys liked my recommendations from last time and it's always nice to support other content creators. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys right now. So on my watch list for this evening, I've got Sophia and Chintzia, Hannah Marling, we've got Grackle, I've got Amy there, Jacqueline, Anna, James and Karis. Oh my god, they're having a baby! I'm so excited. Is anybody else? Then we've got the wonderful Emily's World, Saffron Baker, we've got Ellie Darby, Erin Rutherford, and then Rebecca Jane and Mina Rome. I mean, these are some of my favourite ones as well. I've watched a bunch from Sunday's upload because Sunday is a very popular update upload date for youtubers to upload and some of my favorites upload on that date as well so there's a bit of a backlog here i do watch a lot of youtube i mean you should know by now but i'm just addicted to it really i, I love and enjoy watching others and getting to know people so yeah so just for this evening, I'm going to be eating my purple dinner, watching YouTube, and then I'm going to go and make a purple bubble bath, which will be in that video if you guys want to have a watch of that. But I will probably see you tomorrow. It's a very exciting day tomorrow, but I will leave that for the explanation of tomorrow rather than today because I'm just a waffler. Today was a bit of a boring one for the vlog, but a very exciting one for the purple video. I apologise for that, but I will see you tomorrow. Good morning guys and welcome to Wednesday. So today is a pizza party day on a hump day because I'm going to be meeting up with some girls from Instagram. It's always really nice to meet up with people from Instagram because you just relate to them so much. Like you follow people that you relate to and so when you meet up with them it's just really great. I love getting to know like-minded people so it's going to be a fun day kind of day today. But right now though, like I explained yesterday, I'm going to be hitting up a full body session because I do full full body sessions when I am on shift week and I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm wearing in terms of my gym wear today. 
So today's gym attire is this blue acid wash collection set from My Protein, as I would have shown you guys in my gifting PR segment of this vlog. Um, I really love the fit of it and the style of it is really nice and flattering, super comfortable as well. I wear an extra small. If you're interested, I'll leave the link in the description box down below. But I'm going to hit up a full body session now and then I'll probably catch you guys after my workout because I'm not going to be filming just because of the business in my gym it's so busy I don't know about you guys but it really gives me anxiety when it's super packed so I just want to go in get my workout done and go out because too many people in that gym honestly <laughs> so yeah I'll probably catch you then and I'll let you guys know what I'm wearing for today's pizza party <laughs> so we are back from the gym very good session but a very busy gym but I have gotten ready now for our little pizza date that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today and I've just dressed up in some casual attire. We've got some like Zara flare trousers on if you can see here and then I've paired that with some Air Forces. I mean they look like they match, I'm not quite sure but we're going for the funky unusual look and then I've got this cardigan on from Bershka, this jacket on from Bershka. This um, top is from Zara and it's got like a rib effect on it and then this bag is also from Zara and then these earrings are also from Zara <laughs> and then you would have seen uh, the scrunchie in my weekly vlog previously that's from Brandy Melville which I had to queue up for and that was not great um, but that's the other story. Anyways I'm going to roll out the house now and head over to pizza so I will catch you there and I'm probably going to do a little montage like we do when we eat food and um, um, yeah, I'm gonna have a great time. I'm gonna enjoy all the pizza and socialize. <laughs> Oh my god, I look like such a pig. <laughs> it's stuck in my teeth. <laughs> it's stuck in my teeth. <laughs> right, so I am back home now from all of that epicness. I had an amazing time with all the lovely girlies. We had a great conversation and great laughter. Thank you so much for Puriza for inviting us down and gifting that meal. It was just incredible. I managed to demolish one pizza half a garlic bread, three dough balls, two slices of that chocolate pizza, one slice of the brownie and one slice of the strawberry cheesecake which all by the way was vegan and incredible honestly I loved every single bite and I just had a great time with everyone so yeah that is what went down today a bit of a foodie day just like any other day in my life <laughs> because I'm such a foodie and then um, after the meal I messaged Puriza because I was just a bit disappointed with the chocolate pizza 
Last time I went to go to Puriza, they had the chocolate pizza, but they also had crushed Oreos on it. And that for me really made it. Like, honestly, it was incredible. So they haven't yet replied, but I'm going to see what they're going to say because I want to hear it. <laughs> but I also messaged them saying, how about a Lotus Biscoff pizza? Like, wow, how insane would that be, guys? Lotus Biscoff with crushed biscuits on it, on a pizza. Can we imagine? Can we just imagine? <laughs> After pizza, me and Steph, one of the girlies, we went into the Whole Foods store because it's right next to the Camden Puriza store. And she actually bought me this Love Raw chocolate wafer bar, which is super kind of her. I didn't expect that. And I've been meaning to try these. So I'm actually going to dip one of these in my oatmeal bowls tomorrow. I will share it with you guys because that's just going to be pure epicness. Do you know what I mean? Like chocolate in oats just incredible you just can't go wrong with it <laughs> anyways I'm gonna settle down for this evening I'm gonna edit the footage from today I'm gonna finish editing the video of the purple food challenge and just chill with it really I'm gonna light a candle and that's pretty much it tomorrow is a new day and I'll probably catch you guys then so see you <laughs> Good morning guys and happy Thursday. So it's been a fabulous start to the morning so far. I had my chocolate oats which I melted that chocolate wafer bar in and it was incredible. I highly recommend you guys trying that bar out because it's like a vegan Kinder Bueno which is crazy because you just don't find those. So it's very unique chocolate bar to try and I would recommend it. Um, then I just freshened up. I did a bit of editing this morning as well and I also did a bit of filming for a video and a very exciting video where I'm filming around four to five vegan high protein desserts which I have two in front of me now and they look insane. They smell insane and I cannot wait for you guys to see the recipes for these because they look amazing. I will just show you a little sneaky peek. So I put them into little containers now for me to nibble on throughout the week and at work but can we take a look at these guys? Oh, oh my gosh. So we've got the s'mores one here and then we've got these chocolate chip ones over there. And then I've got many more to film and produce for you guys. That's a little sneaky peek. Enough of that. But right now though, I've made myself a chickpea Biscoff cookie dough to nibble on before my workout because I'm going to be hitting up another full body workout today. But yeah, that's pretty much today's plan of action. I'm not going to be able to record my workout yet again today. I know that's very disappointing, but during the current circumstances of you know what in the world and the business of my gym I just don't want to be disrespectful to others and invade others space by bringing my um, camera out and trying to record my workouts because it really just does require my own space and I just don't want to be disrespectful of others like they want to work out I don't want to ruin their workout and I don't want to ruin mine either so I know that's very disappointing, but I will leave all the workouts in the description box down below. Do let me know if you'd like me to create any videos on my physique update or my fitness update and where I'm at because I feel like my current videos are all just about food. And don't get me wrong, I do love recording those, um, but that's just not what I'm all about as well. I love my fitness. I'm still very much so into fitness, um, but at the same time, and I'm an utter foodie as well. So just let me know what you like to see from me because I'm happy to share anything with you guys um and yeah I hope you're not bored of this vlog I know it's like really long already because I'm currently editing it and it's just like who actually cares but I've heard a lot of feedback from you guys saying that you like to see these long videos so so much love to you all anyways I'm gonna try and save the filming time for more relevant stuff other than me waffling again <laughs> but I will catch up with you guys soon 
So we are back from the gym now and I've just made myself this super high in protein, super cheesy and super delicious bowl of pasta using the Meatless Farm mince meat which I would have shown you guys previously in this vlog but I really love their mince meat and it does look really realistic and taste delicious as well so I can't wait to dive into this and I've topped it with some Violife cheese and then for my dessert, even though this isn't a full day routine but I just wanted to show you guys this in all its glory um it's my s'mores brownie that i made for an upcoming youtube video which i've just heated up and i'm gonna dive in as well as the pasta look how incredible that looks guys honestly then i put myself in for a little tanning session because it's so cold outside and i just really want to pamper myself up so i'm going to go for a little tanning session and i've also booked myself in for eyelash infills because i mean as wonderful as they are they don't look so wonderful anymore because can you see how crazy they look right now so hopefully the girl will be able to work her wonder and work her magic because these really need fixing and i will definitely show you guys the end result I'm back from the lash appointment now and hasn't she done such an amazing job honestly I just love them so much whilst I was out I received a parcel from a company called food heaven which you may have seen on my Instagram a number of times it's basically a vegan whipped cream company and they sent me also their like liquid cream unsweetened and sweetened version as well as their creams that I use regularly in my like foodie posts so I'll just show you what they look like. So you may be able to recognize them. They sell them in Tesco's and they're just, they just taste incredible. So I use this whipped cream often on top of my like pancakes, sometimes on top of my oats, I can't lie. Um, sometimes on top of my hot chocolates, it just depends. I haven't yet used this yet, but I will experiment with it. My mum has personally used it in her coffee and she let me know that it was incredible. So I might try that myself. And then also I received this lovely ring from this independent brand called sea crest jewelry and she kindly sent me this beautiful ring and i really do love it so much so definitely go check these guys out if you're interested and i'm just going to be having my dinner and settle down for this evening i've got some pickled red cabbage here some broccoli some kale some barbecue seitan and some spicy wedges along with my homemade cookie i'm joined by grace because we're watching what are we watching grace you know you're home. this netflix film i don't know if you guys have watched it before but one of my friends let me know that it was really good so we're going to be watching this for this evening but yeah that's pretty much it for my thursday i will catch you guys tomorrow Good morning guys and happy Friday. So there has been a slight change in plan to the original plan that I let you guys know that I'm doing today. Instead of yoga we are going to be doing boxing today but I'm going to be going with my mum instead of my best friend because Lola is having her hair done. Fair enough. <laughs> so she didn't want to get her hair messy um, and that's fair square. So instead, me and my mum are going to a boxing class at 3pm today and then I'm going to be meeting Lola afterwards for her birthday meal at by Chloe. So I will probably see you guys at boxing. This morning has just been a content kind of morning sort of thing. Um, I finished filming the two more recipes to the high protein snack recipe video that is going to be coming to my channel soon and then I just went to the gym this morning as well and now we're going for a little boxing class with, with my mum. Um, the club invited me down, it's called Buddha Box London, it's in Beckley Square so I thought it's just a bit of a laugh, a bit of fun and some more activity throughout the day and that's what I love and my mum is really excited as well so I'm looking forward to having that little laughter with her. <laughs> So we're in the Buddha Box training rooms now. Me and my mom are just about to hit up a boxing session. Do you think you're gonna be good at it? Yeah. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> Anything at all but it's you. Any other girl but it's you. I dream about anything at all but it's you. Any other girl but it's you.
cover of a glamour magazine, girl I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning in her eyes Fine as I've fallen, I'll take a dip inside So we can take it to my room, girl What you wanna do? I'ma take you on a honeymoon, yeah Girl, we can take it real slow Never let go of you, never leave you solo When it's late in the night, won't you come on over? Fool around in my sheets, you could be my lover Okay, so we just finished our boxing session at Buddha Box. Oh my god, guys, it was so much fun. I highly recommend you guys come in here. Boxing is just a different activity to my sort of fitness, but I really enjoyed it and it was so much fun. Did you have fun, Mum? No, I had a fabulous time. Anyways, now I'm gonna meet Lola at by Chloe. So the next piece of footage that you'll see is utter foodiness because you know I'm a foodie. <laughs> So I am back home now after a lovely meal out with my best friend and boxing session that I had earlier today with my mum. Both were just as amazing and great. Thank you so much to Buddha Box for inviting me down for a boxing session and thanks so much to Bye Chloe for gifting us that lovely, lovely meal. I brought with me a candle just so that I could light it on Lola's cupcake to wish her a very happy birthday. And everything that we had was absolutely insane. I had the vegan small pot of mac and cheese. Then I had the Caesar salad with like shiitake mushroom tempeh pieces on there with croutons as well and then also I had the shaved seitan fries which was amazing and then we had the cupcakes so I did eat a lot at that meal today but <laughs> to be fair I hadn't eaten a lot during the day which was quite bad of me because I just got busy and I there's not many times that I don't have time to eat like I always make time to eat um food is life but on this particular day, I just got busy doing things and you know when you just, you just get stuck doing things and you don't have time for yourself. It was one of those days. So I very much so needed that meal and it was such an incredible meal. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. Anyways guys, I am going to end the vlog here because after getting home from today, I meal prepped my meals for Saturday and Sunday because I've got two shifts coming up this weekend at work and um, that's pretty much it for my week. Um, I'm not going to carry it on until Saturday and Sunday because I'll be literally coming home and sleeping after my shifts. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this weekly vlog. I know a lot of you guys like watching these weekly vlogs. 
Personally, I like to watch these vlogs too. You just get to know the person a little bit more and it's super fun just getting to know what people are up to during their weeks and stuff. So yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Do let me know if you did by giving me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me and I will see you in the next one. Bye!